You have a daughter. Your daughter evidently lives here, so you were here. Because that was your agent. She picked up your property. Okay, so by now, any property that they did not, I'm just telling you, mm -hmm. any property that they did not target after she picked up the property, in my judgment, has been abandoned. Okay. Got it? So now you can tell me the story because we're gonna fill three more minutes. Okay, so I went up there on Tuesday, September 23rd, and at this point, we had decided because of all of this that had transpired, we wanted to try to sell this vacation home of ours and no longer try to rent it out. It was becoming too much of a hassle. Fine. So we were going to put it on the market October 1st. So the 23rd of September, I drove up from San Diego. I heard that already. You looked through the and house I and went you found through. the Christmas decorations. I Good. found two bags, no boxes, and they were in the attic. And one of them had Wiegman written on it and one of them had nothing written on it. The one that had Wiegman written on it had tinsel and garland kind of coming out of the top. Mm -hmm. I never opened either bag. I also considered it to be what did you do insignificant. With it? What did you do with it? I gave it to their pet sitter who was gonna be babysitting their dog again. Who's the, whose dog? Their dog, Max. Oh, stand up. So, stand up, Glenn. So, so just a second, so move over there. Okay. Did she give you this bag of yes. abandoned property? Yes, she did. Okay, what did you do with it? I took it down to my house. I live four houses down. And uh -huh. I was gonna keep it for, for the Wegmans when they returned to give it to them. Did they return? They returned, and? but during the, in the process of the stagers that showed up at her house to, to get the house ready to for sale, one bag went missing, one did wind up in my garage. And that's the one that was there of their property. That so I, what happened to it? It was missing. You don't know and, where it is? No, I do not know where it went to. They don't know where it is. They can't return it to you. May I clarify something, Your Honor? Anything you like. When my daughter went to pick up the items, they were in Glenn's garage. They had been taken down from the attic and from the house and brought down there. So no, there were lots of boxes and everything else. I don't else. care. That's your problem. You fly out from the Cape and go to your daughter's house and go through all the junk that she collected that she signed off for, be there on July 25th, go through and say, I'm missing a bag of tinsel. We have to go back and get my tinsel. That's your problem. That's not their problem. They're selling their house. They don't have to worry about the junk you left behind. You abandoned it. Your daughter signed off for everything on the list, including holiday decorations. If she happened to find another bag of your junk and she tried to do the nice thing instead of throwing it in the trash, which is what I would have done. <laughs> That was nice of them. He didn't steal your garland. It went missing. She was nice. She didn't throw it in the trash, which is exactly what I would have done. So your case is dismissed. We're done. Thank you.